Science is the way we interact with the world, the way we look after ourselves. A third of your brain is devoted to visual activities. If your eyes are damaged, in an evolutionary sense, you die. It's that important. But it's not just that. It's what's the purpose of being alive, if not to see the world around you, to experience the world around you. Kampong Spu is perhaps one of the poorest communities in Cambodia and so here we are as a group trying to offer some more eye services that would not occur otherwise. Most of the cataracts here are so bad that the difference is quite dramatic. People before the operation often their vision is totally blurred and they can even have problems getting around. They need support from the rest of the family. And after the surgery, once their eyes improve to a certain level, they're pretty well going to be independent. You free the grandparent to be able to care for themselves. You free the child to live his life to the fullest potential possible in the circumstance. You save two lives. Help one person in Canada in effect is to help a whole family out of the suffering. The family can go to work now as live as normal life. The uh, crowds that we have will stay like this with us through the day, each going through their registration process. Those that require operations then go on and do the necessary eye tests and then go and have their operations in the theatre. A triage will be done and those with the worst eyes will then be taken and treated first. We're providing two meals a day, lunch and dinner, to both the patients and the carers. We pay for their travels to get here. It's mainly because the hospital is quite remote. There's no market around here and some of them came from far away. The people waiting everywhere is sort of, uh, one, it's daunting, but two, it's, it's amazing that we're able to see this and that people. Uh, we've seen both, but we can do the cataract in the uh, right side. It goes in, do a scan, and then uh, gets checked, and then come back tomorrow for the surgery. Here, meeting farmers and people who are working. And, you know, they can't even see light perception at the moment. Once they've got that cataract removed and then they can see in the distance, well, that whole world will change. It's, uh, it's fantastic. Did you bring that down there? You really need a translator at all times because people are scared. You feel people shaking underneath you because you're wrapped right around their face in their face on very close. They have no experience of this, so probably tenfold to how we feel when we go to a dentist. Just tell her to breathe through a nose. Just think about it breathing and look, oh, you did already. Good on you. A lot of them do say, um, you know, after having the eye block in, you know, is that, is my cataract done? They really don't know what's going on. It's great that they just, I guess, put their trust in us. The cataracts are all very advanced. They're sometimes very difficult to do because the eyes are quite diseased and uh, with advanced cataracts there's a lot more risk factor so it's, uh, it's a hard day. You know day.
This morning we had a gentleman come into our eye camp. When he turned up for registration, he was uh, mute, which came from the fact that he was deaf in both ears from birth and had not had the opportunity through his life to be able to communicate. I was very happy to be able to install two hearing aids. For the first time in the gentleman's life, he was able to hear people talk, which brought great joy and a lot of tears to his eyes. It'll be an interesting day for all these guys. We want them to keep their eyes closed so that we can clean them, but I think they're all excited to open them and see what they can see. <laughs> The post op, I actually see a lot of people get really excited because they can't actually see again. A lot of people haven't seen their grandchildren because they've been blind. Can he see anything? Yeah, he said he can see. Yeah, now can see my hand also. And so he's happy? Yeah. Oh, that's good. He's very happy. Guesses, oh, that's good. A lot of them come out with only light perception or some degree of um, uh, vision today, but over the sort of coming week or two weeks, their swelling will go down and they'll have full vision again. Wait a few days, and if it doesn't get better, then the reason he's not seeing is because the back of the eye is very sick. This lady uh, was blind with cataract. She had a large uh, cataract in the back part of her eye. It was removed with difficulty because all of the cataracts are uh, a late presentation. She's done beautifully and uh, she'll, she'll have an excellent result. The purpose to give the money to back to patients just for them to catch a transport back home and have a rest. Some of them are really need that five dollar US so they can have probably one week or two weeks to expend. Having a dispenser here, you can make lenses very well and hand out prescription glasses. That has made a huge impact on lots of people. Lots of little kids who can see this far in front of their faces now can see properly and that will probably mean they don't have to fall over as much, they may not break ankles or break bones. That's been a really good addition to the Cambodia Vision team this year. She's deaf and dumb but couldn't hear. The right hand side totally can't hear but the left hand side as she can speak now, I call Papa, she call Pa, and we come from Cambodia. One to ten, she able to count one to ten now. Mui, B, B, Bai, Pa, Buon, Pram, Prab, Pamui, Pampi, Pampin, Pram Bai, Pram Buon, Dop, Dop. Okay, good. More long term wise, we hope we can provide more medical services such as treatment of diabetes, hypertension, anemia, so that we have a more holistic approach in Cambodian vision. Going in the future, we Cambodian vision need a lot of uh, fund for able to supply for local people. We need uh, people to involve, to participate, to volunteer work. A huge group of people all working for the same cause and with fantastic results. It's really been very overwhelming. I've been really impressed and very humbled. It's constantly surprised by the ability of people to make things work quickly and under the most difficult circumstances. It really does bring out the best in the people you work with. I'm really happy to be here and I like to be here next year and uh, other years. It's a bit upsetting sometimes to see that we can't help every patient. So I just need to very much accepting it. I can only do my best. It is a privilege that uh, one can do something to help people. That makes it all worthwhile and that's what keeps us coming back. Beautiful people, beautiful smiles. So pleasurable to work with. I would like to say to uh, thank you to all the Australians, especially that um, helped me to uh, cure my eye. 
It's you, very much. <laughs> Thank you for uh, Australian. Yeah, I can have a uh, people Cambodia. She can uh, look around uh, the clear when the uh, CO. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I wish I wish you good luck every time. Yeah. Yeah. Bye bye. Yeah. <laughs>